TRI started originally as a result of a community energy forum that took place and hosted by council in 2014. TRI's re renewable energy target, I think, I think it's achievable. I think there's a lot of goodwill and passion and commitment. I think we'll get there. It'll be a, um, a, a very interesting journey. So Taylor Renewable Yakandanda formed out of the Community Energy Forum in Yakandanda, but a, a group of people after that got together around a fire with some soup and just nutted around a whole lot of ideas. And at the end of that point, we said, let's go for 100% renewable electricity. And it seemed like a really valid thing to aim for. We had no idea how we were going to do it. Okay. So the panels were installed in January 2016 and operational uh, at the start of February. So in the 12 month period, we've actually seen a halving of our electricity bill. The savings have been um, higher than what we expected and the payback's going to be a lot sooner. We had a five year payback. We're looking at net that being um, close, a bit over three years now. So that's just been brilliant. Where are we? We're, we're in the Indigo Valley in northeast Victoria. We're about eight kilometres from Yakandanda, which is sort of behind us. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful physical landscape. Um, of uh, bushed hills and um, sort of cleared agricultural valleys and um, you know, rising up to the hills. Uh, it's uh, 25 minutes from Wodonga and uh, the, the, the biggest cities were Albury, Wodonga. Uh, we're a public, unlisted public company and uh, you know, we, call, but we also call ourselves a community company. And we do that because about ha uh, half the profits are from this operation go back to community initiatives within the town and the other half go back to shareholders. Um, and we employ locals. Uh, a lot of young people get a start, their first start in jobs in this, in this organisation. But the biggest impact in a really crowded agenda in Canberra is when community people come and speak for themselves about their own experience. Here was the problem, here's what we, do it, we did about it, here's what it works, and now we need government to do this. Uh, the solar that we've put into uh, Yakandanda is an 80 kilowatt system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly, look, an 80 kilowatt system uh, in a supermarket of this size really can generate uh, approximately 25% of our energy requirements. And we've certainly seen that with, with a reduction in our, our bills. Yeah, so one of the exciting challenges we've taken on at Yak is to do a bit of R&D. And, uh, and we're using the combination of solar energy and the trial of batteries in use to just see how viable it is to actually provide essential services without connections to the grid. And, and that's a great partnership with the same objectives that the Yak and Anna community has. So uh, Mondo Power is, is really on a journey uh, alongside Yakandan. So we're working with the community to help them achieve their 100% renewable future. So there's about 1,100 houses in the Yak area. 30% uh, of them have solar on their roof and they're generating about 13% of their, of their power through renewables. So that was the starting point. The next step of that, as part of the solar deployment, what we thought we needed to do was install uh, a little uh, computer at each house that monitors the household load, monitors the solar generation and gives the Yakandanda residents visibility of that through a portal or through their mobile computer device, which by the way we call Ubi it's for ubiquitous uh, to give it a name. So Mondo Powers developed Ubi. Uh, Ubi will actually analyse uh, the household profile and in time it will make a recommendation to each householder that it's now time to get a battery. Um, we think, uh, or Osnet, uh, Osnet Services and Mondo uh, estimate that the community energy retailer fully functioning, trading across the mini grid, will be able to generate a 90% of Yakandanda's uh, electricity needs. Uh, currently looking at putting a solar or a pumped hydro um, top up mechanism. So the community energy retailer is going to be able to buy electricity from that and sell it to people, people in the mini-grid. <laughs>